Hey guys, so today I'm doing a clothing haul. I have stuff from Shein, and then I also have stuff from this subscription box called Yoga Club. So I've put up the website so I can give you guys all the correct information on how this subscription box works. I have the one that's called the Guru Box, so this one is $79 a month and you get three items. They do have cheaper boxes. I think the cheapest one is $45 a month. So with the value being so high in the box that you're getting, it actually really is worth it. Like when I show you guys these items, I picked out three items that were from um, Free People and they were all like really, really expensive. So this box would have totaled up like over $200 um, and this would have been $80. So usually the way that it works is all of the items on their website will be set at like $50 or less usually. So that's the value. But obviously the value is going to be a little more expensive if you were to actually go into free people and buy it because they just say what their suggested price is. So they say the first step is you're going to select your package and your style. So you pick the package and workout style that fits your personality so each month you aren't getting random stuff that you don't want. So this comes once a month. So this is the little card that comes with it and it's got um, a bunch of the brands that they offer. So they've got Lucy, Nux. 1Z, Manduka, Free People, Tiki, Electric Yoga, Soy Boo, Threads for Thoughts. They have tons of brands. Like they sent me to a specific page for influencers so I could pick out my items. And they had so many different brands that I'd never even heard of. And I like hopped on their website to see like what they retailed for and they were all pretty expensive. So it's kind of nice if you're someone who enjoys expensive clothing but you don't actually really want to pay that much for it. So the first item that I got I absolutely love it is like this jade colored hoodie and you can zip it down in the front and basically all the clothes that are going to be in this haul is the majority of the things that I'm going to be bringing to London so you guys will see it's not as summery it's more so like fall slash spring just because the weather there is going to be a little cooler so this um, retails for $68 I got this in a size small and this is their retro vibes hoodie in case you guys wanted to look it up very 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 comfortable absolutely love it and then the next thing are a pair of leggings as if i don't have enough leggings if you guys follow me on instagram or snapchat i think i posted these on there um these are in the color washed black and they're an extra small slash small and this fits absolutely perfectly they remind me a lot of the lululemon align like the way that they fit in the rise and they go all the way down to my ankle. I'm five nine and a half, just for anyone who is going to ask as I go through this haul. And these are like the, the perfect length. I absolutely love them. So we went ahead and got these and these retailed for $68. And then the last thing in the box is just kind of like a basic top. Now you guys will notice that like none of these are really workout related. Um, so I guess, I mean like the leggings are, but the hoodies not really. It's just because they had so much to choose from, but a lot of this stuff was actually out of my size. So I just went ahead and picked stuff that I knew I would wear and um, that you guys could probably easily find a dupe of. So this is a cream, like white off the shoulder, long tunic. It's got the slit in the side so that, um, you know, it has kind of like a high lowish effect. This is a size small. And the suggested retail price is $78. So I really, really like how this fits. It's your basic, like, thick um, knit material. If you guys can see, it's it's just really nice. And it fits pretty well, considering, like, my shoulders are a little more broad now. But now we're going to go ahead and move on to Shein. I've got an entire box of clothes from them and a bunch of necklaces. So I'm going to start with the jewelry just because I'm already wearing some right now. And just a heads up, for Shein, the shipping takes a hot minute. So the processing is really what takes the longest. The shipping doesn't take that long, depending on which method you choose. So they send everything through me by DHL. So once it, I get an email saying that my package has shipped, I will get my items within, I believe, like three days usually. DHL tends to be two to three days so sometimes I'll get it the day after I get it, sometimes I'll get it two days after. It depends whether or not it gets held up at customs. So the shipping isn't the longest part if you pick Express. It's really the processing time because they have to make sure they have all of your items in stock 
in that size and then if they don't they have to split up the packages and it's just an entire process so the processing i would say takes up to a week and then the shipping can take anywhere from like one day to a week to whichever shipping method you pick i recommend just going with express and just paying for that because everything on the website's pretty cheap in general so the first thing is this pack of earrings. So I was looking in their accessory section and I saw they had a bunch of different packs of jewelry. So I got this pack of just gold hoops. If you guys didn't know, I used to be obsessed with hoops. Um, and so we're just going to bring it back. I lost like all of them because <laughs> I'd always take them off when I got back from like going uptown and I just never found them. So we went ahead and got these gold ones and then I also got these silver ones so these are more of a decent size this is the size that I tend to go for um, sometimes even bigger just because I always have my hair down and I like the way that hoops look when they peek through and I don't really do studs this does actually come with studs as well um, at the top I don't know how much anything was I don't look at the prices because they send this all to me just to review um, for free but the next thing is one of the rope tie chokers so this is an entire choker set seven, eight, nine, ten, either nine or ten chokers that all came in one set. So the first one is just one of those tie chokers. I'm not even going to try and figure this out right now, but it's the really cute ones that everyone does and they like wrap it around and they have the little um, gold pendants at the very bottom. So that's the first one. The second one is the one that I'm wearing right now. It's black velvet in the front and then the bottom is just regular kind of black wire and then it has a little silver triangle at the bottom so I thought that was really cute. We've got um, a basic just double layered choker and the, the material on all of these is like what you're paying for but I wouldn't even worry about it too much because the chains are actually great material and this is what tends to break on necklaces like this is why I don't buy jewelry from Forever 21 because their chains break off of the necklace um, and this also has a little ball pendant um, at the bottom as a little detail it's got a regular um, velvet rope one this is like a triple rope we've got this one I really liked these because they were they had some that were layered and they had some that were normal. So this one is kind of like the one that I'm wearing right now, except it's gold. So it's got two pendants. So it's got a little gold nugget at the top and a drop one at the bottom. So this is like more of a velvet material. And then this is just your regular, um, I guess, silver gold. I don't really know how necklaces work. <laughs> we got just a basic kind of ladder one. This is kind of like the tattoo choker except the material is threaded. We have your typical um, double velvet rope one with a pendant at the bottom there and then the chains are all nice and long which is really really nice. So some of the chains are gold, some of them are silver. It goes along with whatever charm is on it. And then the last one is this floral choker with a black pendant. So they're all like pretty decent. They're all, I think they're all really cute. So now I'm gonna move on to the actual clothing that is in the box. So the first thing is a bralette and you guys were like losing your minds over this bralette on my Snapchat story. So it's your like typical Instagram model girl black bralette, I like to call it. So it's scalloped lace and then it has the crisscross in the front and then the back kind of has a little bit of the cage detailing. It was either size small or size one size. So with Shein, honestly, my biggest tip is just look at the sizing chart. It is 100%, 100%, I promise, um, correct. So this next thing is a size small. It's a t-shirt. I just thought it was really cute. Um, it says, there is a great story in everything. Let your soul blossom. It's so over the top, but it's just navy. And this is actually like, like they like ironed it on. So when you fold it, you can actually fold it perfectly down the middle because it's like still in that shape. So I actually really liked that. Um, makes my life easier. Then we got this jacket that everyone else was also losing their minds over. So if you guys haven't noticed, Roses are in for some reason. Florals are in in general, but like roses. Why do we all love roses right now? Some will let me know because I'm not quite sure, but I'm really into it. So they have the rose patches 
all over this blue denim jacket. I'm really upset because I got this in a size medium and I was already sizing up and I should have went with the large because it's still a little tight around like my lats and shoulder area. So my shoulders across are like 42 and a half, 43 inches. My lats are like 35 inches. So this is just like, it's just a little too tight up top. So I could never wear like a sweater underneath this, but with t-shirts, it's fine. It's just like, if I want to raise my arms up or anything, like the entire jacket goes with me and it's not cropped. So um, it's not quite the look that I was going for. And then the next top is a t-shirt. And I like this because of the neckline, it goes up kind of high. Um, so it's just a basic white t-shirt and it says babe all over it because I just thought, you know, why not be trendy for once? So the font is like pink um, with the black shadow and it looks exactly the same on the front and the back. Um, I either got this in a size small or size one size. Then we have this jacket, which I love. Um, I saw photos of people wearing this like underneath the actual photos of the jacket and I was like, oh, I gotta get it. This just is going to be perfect for London, 100% bringing this with me. I got this in a size extra small, so this is already an oversized style and it's super oversized. So I went with extra small and it fits perfectly and I still have tons and tons of space. So keep in mind that this runs um, really, really big. So material is really, really thick. When, when you touch it, you immediately think neoprene, but it doesn't feel like that when you put it on. And then I got another jacket. So this is a cropped jacket. This fits really, really well. Um, I don't remember what size I got in this. So I will um, put it on the screen to let you guys know. So it's a super, super distressed um, cropped jacket. So I have a super distressed, like there's just holes everywhere, um, jacket in this color, but it's super long. So I was like, I want to get a cropped one. So in the front, it doesn't really have that much distressing. There's a little on the side of the arms and everything. I wish the sleeves were a little bit longer, but I do have like my wingspan is ridiculous. It's like almost the height of my body. <sighs> this skirt. So I saw it on the website and I was like, this is either gonna be perfect or it's going to 100% just be a train wreck. And it's perfect. So I don't remember what size I got in this. I don't think there's a tag in here. They randomly like decide not to put tags in some of their clothes. Closes. In some of their clothes. Good. Some of their clothes. This is actually in there. So this is a size small. Really, really like this skirt because um, in the front, it's the regular band and in the back, you have the stretchiness. And I'm 5'9 and this goes all the way down to the floor. So the next thing is a dress. My feet are falling asleep because I'm sitting on them. Hold on. Oh my God. Oh, wow. I fixed myself and pulled myself together. So the next item is a dress. So I didn't think this was going to work because the second I took it out of the box, I was like, this looks way too big. And I was also like, ha 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 ha, shoulders, biceps. Is this going to fit? It fits. I don't know how, but it does. So this <sighs> sizes, come on, Shein. I thought we had this by now. So this is either size small or size medium. You guys will rarely see me get a size extra small in anything because it's just gonna be way too tight. The last item, yes, oh my god, I found another choker. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I think it was like a set of maybe 12. So, okay, this last one is just normal. Um, it's literally just rope material. So, just black rope material with the little gold clasps. I'm sorry, I thought, <laughs> I thought I had everything. So this is the last item. It is a denim skirt. We got this in a size medium. You know, I was in Forever 21 the other day and I thought I had finally, you know, found a place that would have skirts that fit me and it just still didn't work out. Like if you guys saw the picture on my Instagram, that fit kind of, but like not enough for me to pay for it. It was such a mess. So this is like perfect but not perfect because it is like too tight around the butt area. I don't know what to do because if I got a size large it would be way too large in the waist. So it fit my waist perfectly 
but you guys will see like if I pull it up to be more high-waisted then I have room in the back but if I pull it down to be like normal waist like right at the belly button maybe a little bit lower I can't remember exactly um then it's like just too tight around my butt and it just is uncomfortable so we'll see what we can do with this um, I'm gonna try and like attempt to break it in somehow. So that is everything that I got for this haul. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments down below. Be sure to check out the description box before you ask anything. I'm gonna link every single item from Shein. If you click through and it doesn't go to anything and it just goes through like a page of like dresses or something like that, that means the item sold out. Um, so I'm sorry, but hopefully nothing will be sold out because I'm doing this haul very, very quickly. And then as for the stuff that I got from my wonderful yoga box, I will see if I can find these items on Free People. I can't make any promises. Um, yeah, I can't make any promises, but I will definitely try and find the leggings and the hoodie because they do have the names of like the style. The top, however, I don't think I'm going to be able to find that, but I will hop on the website and do the best that I can do. I will have all the information for this box down below if you guys are interested in trying it out. I definitely think it's something great because, like, workout clothes are kind of hard to find, and if you want, like, really trendy workout clothes and you're someone who, like, likes to have lots of different things, I think these subscription boxes are great. So be sure to check that out if you guys are interested. Um, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to check out my other hauls if you want to watch those as well. It's always a good time. And I'll see you on my next one. I love you. Bye!